What's going on guys? Dante here with TRMR. I recently shot in Bang Time's Nine Ball Virtual Pool Tournament and I was missing a whole lot. I noticed that I was forcing the ball to do things that I wanted to do. I noticed that I was shooting really fast. I also noticed that I was shooting really hard as well. And I need to fix that. In order to fix that, I decided to go to my local pool store and buy some pocket reducers. And that's what I'm going to cover in today's video is using those pocket reducers and how that slows my shot down, slows my stroke down and keeps me focused because watching all this very painful. So stay tuned and hang out with me and see if it'll help you. So first things first, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we got on the inside. It is very simple um, at my local pool store uh, which is called Golden West uh, no I have no endorsements towards them it's just a place that I go to or whatnot to get up my pocket or my pool supplies so what you get is you get six pocket reducers looks like you get a cool little wannabe crown royal bag but it's still a nice color and then the instructions are in the back here so, there they are. I'm gonna show this one time, I'm gonna actually read them. Okay, um, so the top part, I'm just gonna um, summarize what it does. So basically, again, it gives you a smaller and tighter pocket to shoot for, which means that it forces you to become more precise in your shooting. Um, now, one of the warnings, uh, if you do get this, uh, you don't want to slide these into your pocket because again uh, It's felt on rubber. So there's going to be some friction and some pull and you might damage your felt That is against the rubber sides and also on the slate itself. So don't slide these What you're going to do which I'm going to show you in a minute is how to properly uh, Put these into your pocket. Okay, so let's put that away and let's show you how to properly put these on all right, so if you're looking at it and you get the ones that I got, um, oh, I probably didn't cover the cost. Um, it's anywhere between 45 to $55. I'm not gonna say exactly because, you know, do your own shopping, um, but it's, I hope that it's gonna be worth its, its money because, uh, you know, 45 to $55 is, um, a lot for especially for somebody like me anyway what you get is you get a piece of metal that obviously has some recoil to it and some heavy-duty rubber uh, triangles right here now on the inside they're molded and then on the other side is this straight flat so according to per the instruction is you're gonna turn these outward all right so that way it's against the cushion right in here and the mold is just gonna fit into this little spot, spot right there. And you're gonna flush it and make sure that it's flat right there and over to the edge as best as possible and it's flush this way. Get my finger out of the way. You're gonna hold it there while you take the other one and you're gonna push it in to place, just like that. And again, don't slide it in, push it in and place it. Push it in place it and then check to see that it's flush down on the to the slate part and then onto the slide or side right in here as flush as possible okay now remember it was two balls and a half big now if you look the entryway is basically a ball ball and a half a little over ball and a half so your room for air is a lot greater. Definitely one ball big with half a ball on each side, a little less than half a ball on each side. So which means that when you go and shoot, you basically gotta hit the heart of the pocket, which is in the front right here. Not towards the back, 
because if you're oriented towards the back at any kind of angle, obviously you're gonna hit on the rail and these are not forgiving whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up uh, all the packets and uh, I'm gonna do a couple shooting drills that I like to do uh, to warm up and then I'm gonna see if I could run at least three balls. My first drill that I like to do is just to get me in stroke and basically I'm just going for how I'm aiming towards the pocket. Now if I don't aim correctly, obviously I get instant feedback. So I redo it and I make sure that I go for the center of the pocket always. And also in doing this makes me see if I'm hitting the object ball correctly. Now this is a variation of the drill that I was doing except they're in different locations of the table and I am shooting at different distances of pockets so therefore I have to slow my shot down take my time and at different angles make sure that I'm still hitting towards the heart of the pocket again this is giving me instant feedback whether where I'm aiming now if I can't hit the center of the pocket when I'm doing this drill then that means that I'm not hitting the exact point on the object ball when I'm aiming for a shot to pocket a ball. This is very helpful. It, keep, it keeps me calm, slows me down, and it reassures me that when I have everything set, I don't have to second guess how I'm stroking. The next drill that I'm gonna do is where I put it all together and I put the cue ball in play and I try to pocket balls no particular order, just shooting balls and making sure that I'm putting the object ball down the center of the pocket. Concentrating on my stroke, concentrating on my breathing, concentrating on my nerves and just feeling confident in my shot. Now, I'm realigning by putting the stick down and there's nothing wrong with that when you are practicing. Because after a while, your mind and your body will come aligned and you'll realize and recognize whether if you're aiming correctly and whether if the shot feels good. Again, doing this gives you instant feedback with these pocket reducers. If you do this enough times and stay committed to doing this drill, your shot group, so to speak, as a military term, will be a lot tighter. In the beginning shots, I wasn't doing a whole lot of English. I was just using center ball hits. Now I'm starting to implement English to move the ball around therefore I know that I am still hitting the heart of the pocket on this particular shot I cheated it just a little bit but not by much and I still got good movement on the ball steady pace good stroke staying down on the shot maintaining posture I'm gonna work with this for the next couple days. I'm gonna fine tune, I'm gonna sharpen my skills. Uh, and I can already tell with these uh, pocket reducers, it is gonna make me shoot more precise and be a little bit more uh, aware of how I'm shooting. And like I said, let the ball do what it does and work your way around that because right now I'm gonna try not to use as much English as I normally do, even though I'm Filipino and I gotta use English all the time. But uh, my suggestion is if you get these pocket uh, reducers, it's gonna greatly uh, make you more focused and make you realize 
that, you know, even though that you're making the pocket or making the balls in the pocket, but are you truly making them because you're hitting the heart of the pocket or are you making them because the table is really forgiving? So anyway, uh, that's all I got for today. It's very short. Um, I'm going to show you as I progress. Uh, but I'm going to also another thing about practicing is that, yeah, you're going to practice or whatnot, but do put in the table time. Stay away from playing games if you're being serious about fixing your mechanics. Stay away from playing games because even though that you're you're doing drills and whatnot, it doesn't become embedded until you shoot about at least 500 to 1,000 shots. Uh, but if you do that before, you play a game before that, then everything that you are trying to instill in yourself, you wipe it clean because then you're going to go back to your bad habits. Hopefully that helps. Sorry I talked a lot, but this is what I'm passionate about. If you haven't done so, please subscribe, hit that like button, um, and like always, hope to see you on the table. Great shooting, Dante. Second consecutive 11 for a total of 38 after the five rounds.